I'm Mark Mitchell. I'm actually the publisher of Grad Ireland. So um, interestingly, I'm neither a careers uh, practitioner, um, but I am um, the publisher of Grad Ireland. And I like to think that when you're looking at internships and work placements, you kind of need to look at things with two heads on. One from the employer side, because it's very important that you understand what the employers want from it, and one from the student side, because it's very important that the employers understand it. So this is a 10 minute, 15 slide, bish bash bosh, really quick guide to work experience and internships. Um, and what I'm aiming for you to give you today is an overview and then give you places to go for further reference for, for what will suit your own particular needs best. So this is what we're going to cover. So a quick overview. We're going to have a quick look at what is work experience and what's changed in the last while. Why do so many people talk about it and why is it so important now? Everything you do counts, so I want to tell you a little bit more about that. There's two, I'm really only going to focus in on two types, work experience during your degree and work experience after graduation, so we'll cover them. Then we'll just finish up with two really important things, which is five ways to find the right work experience for you, and then how to get the most from a work experience or placement, how to make it work for you. So, start off with, why are we here today? Well. One of the most important things about work experience is that you want it and employers want it. Grad Island, we do a number of surveys um, supported by our, our research partners. And one of the key things that's come out of it consistently over the last three years has been the importance of work experience. One of the key things is that you know, employers want students to come in now work ready. It's not enough just to have done your degree. You need to come in work ready. There's such competition for places. There are, are graduate jobs out there, but there's lots of competition for them. So what can you do to differentiate yourselves from the competition? Well, one of the most important things you can do is to build up your employability skills, and particularly in relation to work experience. And as, as I said, they're looking for work ready graduates. They want you to be able to hit the ground running. Um, what, one of the things about this survey, over 80% of graduate recruiters, I differentiate really between graduate recruiters. I'm talking about the people who are downstairs here at the Graduate Careers Fair today. All of those guys are big graduate recruiters and all of 80% of them have internship programs and 44% of them intend to increase it. Why are they looking to increase it? Because they hire directly from it. If you go in and do an internship with those companies, you get to see them and they get to see you. And I'll talk a little bit about that later. Um, this is really interesting because obviously with um, the economy as it is and costs as they are, uh, it's not always, you know, sometimes it's a difficult decision to weigh up should you go and do further study. You know, I think there are, there's no right or wrong answer. That depends what you want to do. But one of the interesting things is that employers only 10.7% actually favour a postgraduate qualification in the survey that we did. Now, only a third favour work experience, so about half of them are, are, are feature them both the same, they value them both the same. But there's more who value work experience than postgrad. In As a general survey now, you've got to be careful about what sectors you're looking at, but it's that important. And students, well, 40, we did a survey of over 6,000 students earlier this year and over 42% of students would work to, for free to get a good internship. And what's important about that is it shows that you guys understand the value and the importance of an internship. I'm not saying you should work for free, but I am, what it shows to me is that you understand how important that is and that's a good thing. So what is work experience? Well, the definition really is that it covers anything that can give you experience of the world of work and which develops your work-related skills. So that's a lot of things. That's when you were a kid helping out in your dad's shop. It's all through your teenage years, camping, scouts, um, GAA. It's get it. There's all sorts of things. There's formal placements, internships, part-time or seasonal work, work abroad, volunteering. And we'll talk about all of these um, quite quickly now. But it's everything that you do counts. And that's why I put this slide in. When we asked our employers, what do you look for when you're considering these graduates? And go back to that competitiveness again. How do you stand out? How can you be different? These things, 100% of employers, every single employer said that work experience is either positive or extremely positive. There's no negative to doing work experience 
from the employer's perspective. Um, Team-based exercises at university, you can read them for yourself, leadership roles, international experience. You don't always have to be a leader. They're looking for rounded individuals who can communicate, collaborate, and make good decisions, okay? So you don't have to have been, you know, run a marathon or represented Ireland at the Olympics, you know, but just people who can, if you can be involved in a thing, a society, a team, anything like that, no one, not everyone's leaders, but you can be in it, you can collaborate, you can communicate, and that's really important. And it's about making good decisions as well. So it just shows to them that you can make good decisions. Work experience during your degree then. Five main things. Placement as part of your course, I'm not going to really touch on. You know, if you have a placement as part of your course, you kind of have to do it anyway. Um, and everything that I say relates to them as well. An internship that's not built into your course. So these would be typically summer internships. Um, they're often in the summer there between second and third years. But don't be afraid to talk to employers. Don't be afraid to, if, you, if you've missed that slot in your academic career, even if you're coming to your final year now, there are internship programs. Talk to them, ask them, can I still get on it? I'd love to do this. I'd love to find out more about management consulting. I'd love to find more about what it's like to work in Abbott Island. You know, I see you've won awards. What, what do you do? Your training and development. How do you do it? How can I get involved? Employers love that. They love, do you think about it? They're getting all these applicants for all these roles, internships, grad programs, jobs. They want you to walk through that door and say, here you go, you don't need to worry about anything else. I'm the solution here, I'm the silver bullet. You walk in and you ask for the job and you convince them that you're the right person, they will give you the job. I'm telling you, trust me. So do that, it's really important. Um, one of the key things about this is that um, most of these are highly structured and they're often paid, which is a good thing. Um, and rightly so, because you're gonna do good work um, and I'm going to show you now a quick table. When you arrived at the RDS today, you all got a bag, and in the bag was Grad Island Directory. On this, now this will be up on gradisland.com next week, so if you forget the page number or whatever, it's there. Go and look in your Grad Island Directory at page 32 to 33. You can't see it that well here, but this is a table of all companies that provide internships. This is the list, are they summer internships? What are they, length of duration? What do they do, who do they cover? These are all companies who are downstairs now. The main Grad Island directory, pages 32, 33. After this, go and have a look at it, and then go and find that company. Say, tell me about your internship. I'd really like to see about it. So that's really important. And the Grad Island directory is great because you've got this table, it's all there. The same on the website, you can find them that way. So the third thing, working abroad. Um, great way of increasing your employability, having fun, broadening your horizons, getting experience. Um, these, all these organizations offer work placements abroad. Um, as I said, all of this information is available on gradisland.com, so you can go and uh, explore them for yourself. Uh, the Erasmus program, for example, is usually done directly through your career service in your university. So if you don't know where your career service is, go and find out. Go and make friends, go and talk to them, see what they can do for you, because they're brilliant for placements and work placements. And the Erasmus program is usually quite a specific arrangement within each university and within that program, so you'd need to talk to them yourself. But they're all really good programs. Isaac are here, they're downstairs, they do some good international placements as well. <laughs> so, um, very good way of broadening horizons. Part-time vacation work, everything you do counts. Working behind a bar, what do you do? You interact with people, you have responsibility for money. Uh, and volunteering, um, really good way again to, uh, to show what you're interested in. Now, after graduation, these programs are very important and very, very good um, programs. These four, again, they're all on the website, but um, each of these, apart from the Enterprise Islands program, which is its own program, but the Graduates for Inter International Growth, EOP and Fusion, they all have a post-grad diploma built into them as well. They're paid placements. This one, the Fusion program, 87% of the students on the Fusion program get offered a job at the end of it, and 78%, I think, I may be wrong, it might be 75, take up that that play, that role. So it's a foot, all of these are a brilliant foot, footpath into employment. 
Um, you learn, you get trained, and um, there's jobs at the end of them. So do check them out, particularly if obviously if you've graduated or if you're going to graduate this year. Other than that, there's the uh, government schemes. So obviously these can be a contentious issue. You've got JobBridge, you've got um, the work placement pl programs. You can read there what it is. I think we all know quite a lot about them, but what I want to focus on there is the next slide, which is how you can make these work for you. Um, especially in hard to fill positions. So, you know, uh, JobBridge, for example, has had some good <coughs> but a lot of bad publicity. So for you in this room and for you looking on gradisland.com, why would you do that? Well, if you can't break into a hard to fill job like publishing, media, um, things like that, you have to get work experience. So, five ways to get the right work experience for you. Think local, go into your career services. Nearly all career services have really good relationships with local employers and they all have pathways into internships and work experience. So go and talk to them. Um, if you're looking for something specialist, talk to your lecturers. If you're studying digital media or microbiology, those lecturers, they know the pathways into employment there. They would have contacts in the industry. You might have guest lecturers coming in and talking to you about careers or jobs in that role. Talk to them, get their contact details. Say, how can I come in and work for you? Can I get some experience? It's the best way to get a job in, in hard to fill roles. International placements, I've given you the list. Organised placements, I've given you the list. And gradisland.com. At any one time, about 18% of the vacancies at any time are on are for graduate work placements and internships. So it's a great place to look as well. Now, how to get the most from your placement. <coughs> First, most important, interview the interviewer. I take on placements. Um, Cleo, who started with, with us in January, she um, was my intern, she interned in Grad Island two years ago. And I said to, and, and I, so as soon as I had a role, I went back two years, found the best intern that I'd had, and I gave it to her. But what we did at the outset was I wanted to establish, the reason she got the internship in the first place was because I knew that she wanted to do this. Not that she could do it. Any one of you lot could probably do an awful lot of the internships you go for. Can the employer give you what you want to do? And that's really important. So when you're talking to employers, it's as important that you interview them because you're going to be giving yourself to them, maybe at a cheap rate, maybe for free. Um, you're going to be giving your services to them, so what are they going to give you in return? No one wants to be stuck in the corner photocopying. You know, you do hear these horror stories. So you've got to make sure, and from the outset, you've got to have clear expectations from both sides. So you want them to give you good, challenging, important, real work. You, the time and energy and effort you spend on it is pointless if you're not doing really good work. And just on that one, keep notes as you are, come back to that, but it, to keep notes as you go. Make sure if you're doing good, important, um, meaningful work, keep notes of that so that you can prove what you did. Ev, with my employer's head on, there's not an employer in the country that doesn't want to see these four things. Make yourself memorable. Make yourself memorable. Remember that. If you get in and you're doing an internship, if you have this, 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 and this, you're in the door. No, every employer will go, well, I can teach them then. I can train them. They can go on my training and development program. They can go on my grad program. They can come and stand next to me and, and I'll show them how to do it. If you have this. So when you get in, how to make it work for you? You get stuck in. You make yourself memorable. You do what Cleo did. So that in two years time, who did I remember? the person who'd shown this, this, this and this, you ring them back and you say, what are you doing now? And she actually was in another job, but she enjoyed the experience so much, she jacked that one in and came and worked for us. Because it worked for both parties, and that's really important for you all. And this is another one, be a sponge for all information. This, what I mean by this, this is really interesting. I had another person who came in and did an internship with us in another company that I was involved in. They were doing a marketing internship. And it was all right, but it wasn't quite what they wanted to do. I could tell, they could tell. And I said, well, what else are you, have you seen in here? And they said, well, what do they do over there? And there was the sales team was over there. And that person was interested in see, you know, they were a sponge. They saw what, what the sales team were doing, what the finance team were doing, the marketing, the editorial, whatever the other departments were, 
They saw what it was, and they were like, I hadn't thought of that, but actually, I'd rather do that. And that gave them an idea and, and, and took them off to go and uh, apply to other roles. So any company you're in, make sure you get to see what ev everything that's going on. Keep notes as you go, because it's easy to forget. When you're in an interview situation, very important that they'll, say, well, they'll obviously say, well, what did you do? And you need to be able to say, well, this was my project, this is how we scoped it out, this is what we did, and these were the results. And obviously then talk about your um, role within that. And lastly, again, this is uh, the important thing. It's very important that you know your rights as well. You do have rights within internship programs and work placements on all of this. This is the, the ICTU site, Congress, uh, is, is the best place to find that out. And again, that will be up there next week.